Hi, I'm Stephen Schoen, Chief Technology Officer of Quantico Corporation and inventor of our microchannel heat pipe technology, also known as MHP. Today we're going to talk about uh, an overview of how the system works and show you a live demonstration of the system in operation. Basically, we're using a thermosiphon microchannel uh, heat pipe system to remove heat from the computer. We start off with a reservoir full of working fluid. It's an inert uh, refrigerant, not water. It comes down as a liquid, goes into our microchannel evaporator, picks up the heat, and it is vaporized. It comes back up, goes into our condenser. In this particular system, we're using a, an air-cooled condenser, and then uh, re condenses and returns back to the reservoir, and that closes the loop. The key principle of operation is that it's driven by a difference in gravity between the liquid and the vapor, so no pump is needed. The circulation is, is driven by the heat of the system itself, and the flow is self-regulated. And as you'll see in a, in a few minutes, um, how the, quickly the system responds to a change in load. So let's take a look at our, our box now. This box here is a uh, 4U rack mount case, standard, uh, fit in a standard server that contains our reservoir and our fan. If you come around to the side here, you can see here is here is our uh, reservoir up here. You can see the level of refrigerant and the fan and the condenser are in there. The liquid comes down, flows by gravity, comes into our microchannel uh, heat, heat um, uh, cold plate, which is over here, this little copper thing here. You can see it's pretty small. Uh, picks up the heat. And as it, as it heats up, it evaporates the working fluid, and you can see the flow here of liquid and vapor coming off, and comes back up, back up into the reservoir, into the vapor space of the reservoir, pulls to the condenser, condenses and returns as liquid, and that closes the loop. You can turn up the speed. So you can see now, here's the, uh, the system right now is idling, and I'll turn on the stress test and you'll watch how quickly it responds. Using the A to 64 uh, program for that stresses the CPU, the uh, floating point unit, cache and memory, and we'll start the, the heat load here. And you can see the boiling rate immediately picks up as the heat load on the processor picks up. And you can see the screenshot on the so here we've been running with a uh, Core i7-4770K uh, Haswell chip, uh, normally rated for 3.9 gigahertz. We've overclocked it to 4.8. And uh, as you can see, we've been running here now about almost 10 minutes at 100% power using the A to 64 stress test program, stressing the uh, CPU, the floating point unit cache and memory, um, stable operation, between the, the, two, the two cores that we have running right now. And as you can see, the peak temperature that the system has hit has been only 85 degrees C. The chip is capable of running 100 degrees C before it starts to throttle. So uh, even with this highly stressed uh, and overclocked system, we're able to handle it. And that's an overview of what MHP can do for you.